Hello everyone. In this lesson, we will be discussing about uh, distance relays and how to implement distance relays in ETAP. In this uh, lecture, I will be only discussing about the aspects required to configure distance relays in ETAP. So, distance relays are also called the impedance relay. The relay measures the impedance up to the point of fault and gives the tripping command if the impedance is less than the relay setting. So, these type of uh, distance relays are uh, mostly used for uh, transmission of overhead lines. So, the relay monitors the current through the CT and the voltage through the VT and operates when the V by A ratio is less than the set value. In the case of an electromechanical relay, the relay will consist of two elements, the current element and the voltage element. The current element will generate the pickup torque and the voltage element will provide the restraining torque. So, the general torque equation which is given by the expression T is equal to K1 I square plus K2 V square plus K3 Vi cos theta minus phi plus K4 where K1, K2, K3 and K4 are constant. So, in the case of an impedance relay, the equation can be written as the torque equal to K1 I square minus K2 V square minus K4 where the negative is because of the opposite direction of the voltage element. So, at the balance point, we will get K2 V square is equal to K1 I square minus K4 or V by I is equal to the square root of K1 by K2. So, from this we can understand that the torque which is generated in a distance relay is proportional to the impedance. Next, we will observe the VI characteristics for this distance relay. So, on the X axis you have the voltage, on the Y axis you have current and the impedance is given by the straight line with the slope over here and here you have the positive torque region. This is the region where the fault impedance is less than the setting impedance Z and over here you have the negative torque region where the fault impedance is greater than the setting impedance Z. So whenever there is a fault, the impedance on the line will drop and it will be less than what is on the setting impedance. So it will provide a positive torque region and thus the relay will operate. So, when converting from the VI characteristics to the RX characteristics over here, the RX plane for the same slope of on the VI characteristics, you get a circle with the radius of Z, which is the setting impedance. From this characteristics, you can see that inside the circle, you have the positive torque region where the fault impedance is less than the setting impedance Z. And the negative torque region is the region where the fault impedance is greater than the setting impedance Z. So here you can see when fault occurs outside the impedance region or outside the circle, then the relay will not operate when the fault occurs within this circle region where that is the impedance is less than the fault impedance is less than the setting impedance, then the relay will operate. From this characteristics, uh, you can observe that the distance relays are inherently non-directional. That is, the relay will operate for both the positive direction and the negative direction. That is, both forward and reverse direction, the relay will operate. So, in order to overcome this, we have developed a different type of relay, which is called the more relays. And uh, there is also another solution which involves using of a directional element in series with the distance element. So next we will see what is the more relay. So more relay is also called the admittance relay. It is also used for distance relay. So in case of the admittance relay, the equation can be rewritten for the torque equation as K3 VI cos theta minus 90 minus K2 V square minus K4. At the balance point, both uh, theta and tau are positive. Therefore, the impedance or V by I is given by the equation K3 by K2 cos theta minus tau. So, let us see the Rx plane. So, in the Rx plane, what you will see is that the more characteristics is also a circle, but this time it is on the positive direction or, or, or we call it forward direction. So, here Inside the circle, you have the positive torque region. Outside the circle, you have the negative torque region. The setting impedance or the impedance Z is given by ZR cos theta minus tau. 
so in modern release you have uh, more elements as well as quadrilateral elements so quadrilateral elements are developed in uh, in numerical release where you can actually draw the characteristic by hand or by using any other equation so i will not go in detail regarding the quadrilateral elements but uh, in modern numerical release this type of uh, quadrilateral elements are available and we will see this type of quadrilateral elements uh, while using eta so what all parameters are required to configure a distance relay so for uh, configuring a distance relay you need to know the ct ratio the vt ratio the line impedance the line length the zero sequence compensation factor so the zero se sequence compensation factor is used to translate the zero sequence impedance to the positive sequence the arc resistance and the tower footing resistance are also necessary in the case of a ground fault so next we will go to etap and uh, see how we can implement distance relays in etap if you are interested in uh, knowing more about uh, distance relays i will attach the resources with this lecture